Assalamu alaikum and a very good evening to our lecturer Dr. Nasriman and my beloved friends. I am Nur Ayu Farina and we are from group 5. Our mini project is given the title Yes, we can fight COVID-19 just in the Ardens. Later on, we will present on who is just in the Ardens and how did she manage to combat the highly infectious disease, the coronavirus disease 2019 or widely known as COVID-19. The COVID-19 outbreak began in China and in months later, it became a pandemic. Now, 131 million COVID-19 cases have been reported worldwide. COVID-19 is mainly transmitted through droplets. When an infected person coughs, sneezes, or exhales and will quickly fall on surfaces. This virus is not airborne somehow. However, you can be infected by COVID-19 if you touch the surfaces that the virus has landed on then touching your eyes, mouth, or nose before washing your hands. The incubation period are 14 days and within that 14 days, you may or may have not developed symptoms. Most common symptoms are fever, cough, sh and shortness of breath. We chose Yes, We Can Fight COVID-19, Jacinda Ardens, as the title because we want us all to know and to look up at how the Prime Minister of New Zealand, Jacinda Ardens, had successfully fight COVID-19 in their country. The job was not done by one, but it was done by all. The trust that they had in each other was phenomenal. Just like the Prime Minister herself said that, to empower through understanding. I think that's all from me. I will pass this on to my other members. Very interesting, Ayu. Thank you. By the way, hello, I'm Harold Rita. So, right now, maybe some of you guys know who she is or wondering how she looks like. But worry not, I've included one of her picture here. So, there she is. As what Ayu mentioned earlier on, she is the Prime Minister of New Zealand. Alright, so next. Um, okay. Uh, this is one of the information that I found online. So, as of 6 April 2021, the country has hit a total of 2,524 cases. And one of the fun facts is, they are currently on the 38th place in the worldwide list with the least COVID-19 cases. So, um, this is uh, a picture of how uh, their daily changes is. Um, as you can see there, um, before the 8th of June, the number of cases rose significantly. And after that, uh, you can see that each day, the number of cases is almost zero. So, to conclude of what I said early on, I think that everyone needs to work on this together, no matter who they are in the society, prime minister or normal people, because if they can, why can't we? So, thank you. And I'll be passing the next uh, slide to my next group member. Thank you. Thank you, Ayu. So, here I want to emphasize that coronavirus is not something we can see, and therefore, it's very crucial for us to always be aware of our surroundings, especially public spaces, schools and universities, restaurants, and also hospitals. And as you can see here, I also write about home. Why? It's because we can't simply think that we ourselves or even our family members did not carry or have gotten the coronavirus from outside, right? And therefore, always be careful wherever you go. Now, let's take New Zealand as an example. The first few weeks when COVID-19 were first detected, it can be seen that the streets were empty because New Zealanders were very, very obedient and also determined to win against coronavirus. I believe we can also defeat COVID-19 by showing the determination and effort we have like New Zealanders. So ladies and gentlemen, remember to always wear your face mask 
and bring along hand sanitizer with you and also adhere all the SOPs that our government have provided to us. And lastly, always practice social distancing. Remember, one meter apart, even when you are with your friends and family, one meter apart. Together, we can defeat COVID-19. Next, I'm going to talk about how we can effectively combat COVID-19 in our country. We can effectively combat COVID-19 in our country by having effective communication. COVID-19 response relies heavily on keeping people and the public updated every day. The media can play its part by always reminding the public to always keep their social distance whenever they are outside and also to frequently wash their hands when they are in public. We can take the example of New Zealand where the Prime Minister Jacinta Ardern held daily press conferences also with the Director General of Health. The reason why she held these press conferences is to be able to help gain the public support and as well as to avoid any false news to be spread around. The next step is that Malaysian government should enforce the law. By enforcing the law, much should be made compulsory to be used in public places. Anyone who refuses to mask up whenever they are in public places, they will find with a heavy penalty or even put in jail. If everyone follows the law, to reduce the risk of infection by 65%, therefore the spread of this virus will decrease in time. In this part, I will share about my about why we should look up Jacinda Ardern as a leader in fighting COVID, uh, fighting against COVID nineteen. One of it is a uh, faster economy recovery. Anyway, the next one is citizen safety. The last one is modern technology to fight against COVID nineteen. It's faster economy recovery. So, I think everyone knows that. It's been like in, in social media that Jacinda Ardern raises minimum wage and increases taxes on the rich. This is because to make sure their people earn enough to recover their family, economy and country. Yeah, because everyone knows that during COVID-19, mostly economy like decreasing so this is why by by resist by resist some minimum wage and tax taxes it could fasten economy recovery so Malaysia should take example for this so that so that yeah so that Malaysian didn't should didn't depend more on government incentive in order for them to earn for their family and recover economy and recover Malaysian economy. The next one is citizen safety. New, Ze New Zealand did not afraid going out during pandemic, so I think like this is going to viral in a few, a few last a few months ago, that New Zealander can watch football match during the pandemic because there's. No cases, and I think about in July 2020, there is about two cases only for overall their own country. This is because they are they applying strict guidelines. So one of it is total lockdown and cross all the borders, especially from China. So Malaysia should applying this these steps. So we don't have to worry about the getting infection and the cases won't be raising day by day as we can see now. So the last one is modern technology to fight COVID-19. So New Zealand creates the, first, the world's first innovation in the fight against COVID-19, which is known as ELAM with the highest accuracy and fast detection. By applying this, I mean like maybe minister could bring this innovation to Malaysia in order to make sure that for those that suspect getting infection for this didn't have to wait for long for the result. So that's all. Thank you. If they can, why can't we? Yes, 
We can fight COVID-19. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can.